Hey friends, welcome to today's video. I'm so excited to share this with you. It is jam packed with DIY party ideas and dessert ideas. And this party was for our new daughter before the big day. It was such a hit and I'm so happy to share it with you. We're so happy with the way everything turned out. So let's get started and show you what all went on. All right, friends, so the first thing we're gonna start off with our first DIY project. It is a flower letter monogram. We bought both of these poster boards at the Dollar Tree and we bought about 50 bushes of flowers and every shade of pink that we could possibly get our hands on. Um, so what my daughter Shania is doing here is of course, as you could see, she made this into the letter B. She reinforced it with some other pieces in the back. And so then what she's doing first is you want to leave a little bit of the stem on there just to pierce the poster board first. Then you'll want to um, add on some hot glue just to make sure that all the flowers adhere and they're not falling off later on. Um, but as I mentioned, yeah, we did use about 50 bushes of roses. We bought all of them from the Dollar Tree and we ended up having to go like use three different color flowers. We realized that we didn't have enough of one color, so we just went with what we had and honestly it came out so nice and I think this is a really great party piece to add in, like some of the decor. I personally think that it's a really great price for the flower letter monogram. Now the second thing I'm doing here is I bought tissue flavor flowers from Dollar Tree and the first two pieces, as you can see here, you're gonna wanna round them up, like scrunch them up together, just so that way the flowers don't have that like crease in the middle. So now Dollar Tree sells two, well they sell these in a one pack of the bigger pom-pom flowers, but you get two for one dollar. So each panel ended up using 24 flowers so that was $12 for each panel and I made three panels. And originally um, I had bought the black poster board from the Dollar Tree, but I noticed after we did the flower monogram that when we painted it white, it kind of like shrunk up. So I would just recommend going with white, um, the backdrop, like the foam poster board, which I found at Walmart. It was just a little bit more than a, do than a dollar. Um, and then you'll want to join depending on the size but for me I wanted this one to be very large scaled so I got two poster boards taped them together and this was late at night um, when I got home from work so it's like after 9 p.m. and everyone was asleep and the tape I needed was in my bedroom so I just found some blue painters tape you could not see it at all whatsoever but um, yeah, I was just hot gluing the back of the flowers and adhering them, you know, just to where it's like light pink, hot pink and whatnot. Um, came out super cute. It did not take a lot of time at all. And I really love that it gave such a big effect for such a low cost. Um, so I would recommend like if you're looking to decorate for a party or you know, anything like that. I would definitely, there's a lot you can find at the Dollar Tree, but I would recommend going more bigger scaled items because it makes more of an impact in your party. Now it depends on the party setting. If you have big spaces or smaller spaces, for me, I did need something much bigger and we did use this as a photo backdrop. So that backdrop came out absolutely gorgeous, really great price. Now moving on to the next DIY, I made some faux fur cushions to go around the palette table. Now this roll of foam, um, bought it at Hobby Lobby for $29.99. I just basically measured out what I needed, cut it in half, then cut it in quarters. And the fabric I found it at Hobby Lobby, I believe that was about $50. And, um, it wasn't enough to cover the whole cushion. So what I ended up doing was, I did something I thought I'd never do before. 
but I hot glued it. I didn't use a lot of hot glue because I want to reuse the fabric and the cushion to make me some for my, um, for my back porch furniture. But anyway, this came out really good. Um, you could not tell that I hot glued it. I was definitely hoping no one would turn over the, cu the cushions, which nobody did. But anyway, um, yeah, this came out super cute. Really great for the price versus spending tons more money on a whole bunch of throw pillows. So it came out really good and I highly recommend this. All right, so the next thing that I did is I made chocolate dipped Oreos. I did end up buying the double stuff Oreos and I dipped the little popsicle sticks in chocolate, then in between the Oreo, dipped them in chocolate, then sprinkles, pretty simple. The next thing that I did was make cake pops. This is the first time I made them. Just baked a normal cake, any flavor you want, let it cool completely down, then crumble it up with your hands to where it's like literally crumbles. Then I added in frosting, I used vanilla frosting. I added in a total of three heaping spoons, one spoon at a time. Now you want your cake um, dough to be kind of like the consistency of Play-Doh. I used a tablespoon, a little bit more than a heaping tablespoon to measure out the size of the cake balls. And then I formed those into, ball, into like the cake balls. Then I used the treat sticks. I dipped them in chocolate first, then into the cake ball. I let that chocolate set, so I highly recommend doing this. Um, then dip them into your melted chocolate. As you can see, I had a couple fails. This is my first time making this. You'll wanna make sure when you do this that you wipe off some excess. You don't want a big old puddle of chocolate. And then put sprinkles over that, any type you want. Let that set before moving them as well. The next thing I did is I just wanted to be a little fancy, but I found the napkins at Walmart, super inexpensive. The um, plastic silverware at Target and then the little ribbon, I found that at Hobby Lobby. So just wrap these all up and they looked so elegant, so pretty, I loved it. Next thing I did was flower ice cubes. The trick for this, so that way your ice can be almost transparent, you'll want to buy distilled water, boil it, let it cool down, and then you'll want to pour this into the ice cube trays. I found these um, big ice cube trays at Marshall's. I used faux flowers because I was only using the ice to keep my beverages cool. So that's why I did that. Later on, you'll see how this all came out. All right, so the next thing that I made for the first time were meringues. I had seen these and I thought they would go perfect with the theme of the party. Um, I will have this recipe linked down below in my description box, but basically it's four egg whites. Now the sugar, what I did is I put that in my food processor so it could be super fine and I highly recommend doing this. While you're beating the eggs, um, you'll want to add one tablespoon of sugar at a time. Don't pour in all the sugar at once. Once that's all like kind of starting to form like meringue, then add in your vanilla and I highly recommend preparing your bag and the tip in your bag beforehand because once the meringue starts to sit, it starts, it starts to lose its consistency so you'll have to move fast. This is my very first time making them. I wasn't aiming for perfection. I wanted them to look nice but honestly this was super simple. As I mentioned, you have to move fast. I did add in some gel food coloring. Um, and then, yeah, they came out such a pretty pink color, but um, they were honestly super simple, and I loved them, the perfect treat. So I wanna take some time and welcome you if this is the first time that you are watching one of my videos. My name is Spring with Spring Soulful Home. I'm married to my high school sweetheart. We have eight children. Um, most of them are all adults and almost all moved out, but um, I love making videos such as homemaking, home decor, DIY, cooking, baking, cleaning, you name it, all things homemaking. 
so I hope that you enjoy what you're watching. If these are all things that you enjoy watching, I would love if you would consider subscribing to my channel and be sure to turn on those bell notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So welcome, I'm so glad you're here. And as you can see, I had to get started on the cleaning. This was a day before um, this party was. So um, not only was I cleaning, I was setting everything up and this was so fun. So this is the DIY flower backdrop. And one of my friends from work, she recommended for me to use like um, some type of like greenery so it looks more like a rose garden um, backdrop and I'm so glad she did. So I found this eucalyptus garland at Hobby Lobby and the his and her section was 50% off so I bought two eucalyptus garlands, just clip those off with wire cutters and just put them in there where it looked like there were a few bare spots and it came out great. Now the next thing that I'm doing here is I am adding kind of like a tulle curtain and I used some PVC pipe. My son just measured that for me. He cut it down. And here I am just measuring um, to see how much tool I will need. I believe I bought 37 yards of tool. And um, when I bought this, the fabric was 40% off at Hobby Lobby. So it's like 20 some dollars, something like that. Um, so I used that then. Um, in the back of it, I added some fairy curtain lights. I also did spray paint the PVC pipe for this one, and I also made another one to go on the entryway table. All right, so back to the flower ice cubes. By now, the water was all cooled down, and I was taking out some other flower ice cubes that were previously setting. Now, I had two of these trays, so it did take me a couple of days to make these, but these are absolutely beautiful. So as I mentioned, you want to use distilled water, boil it, let it cool completely. Now we did go with faux flowers that I bought from the Dollar Tree. This was my hubby's idea. Um, and the reason I didn't use real edible flowers was because I was just putting these in the tin where our drinks were going to be cool and just for looks. Um, but if you are wanting to make ice cubes to go in your drinks, be sure you buy flowers that are edible. Also, I did give these a good washing just from everybody touching them. They were quite dirty. So I washed them, then I used them, but these were a big, big hit at the party and I love them. All right, friends, so this was the night before the party and I did work, I closed, so I got home after nine and my sons and daughters helped me set up the pallet table, we covered that up. They um, actually set up quite a bit for me, which I was super grateful for. So here I was just making sure that all of the little details were perfect and the way I wanted everything to be set up. Now these little jewels are a daughter. She picked them out when we went to Hobby Lobby. Um, super inexpensive and I just feel like little details like this just make such a huge impact. We found those little um, picture props at Target such as the I Do Crew. Now that little pink gauze um, table runner, we found that at Hobby Lobby. Um, let me see here. As you can see there, there's the pallet table, the cushions, um, got that fabric from Hobby Lobby, the faux, the fur pillows, bought those from Hobby Lobby as well. And my friend was nice enough to loan me some pink pillows and those little candle votives and everything honestly came out really the way I had envisioned it. And it was just so nice once the party was going on that just to see um, our new daughter's face and everybody, you know, like her bridesmaids. It was an intimate party, so not a lot of people, but everything came out great. Okay, I need to mention this fixture over our dining room table. Oh my gosh, my daughter Shania put that together. She did an amazing job. Like she is so, so talented. It came out so great. So yeah, she also, um, put together the balloon garland in our family room where there was another table set up, but she is so gifted and I just love her and thank her for everything she's done. 
All right, guys, chocolate covered strawberries are always my go-to. I think they look so elegant and I can't think of anybody who doesn't like chocolate dipped strawberries, but I used white, wiped off the excess as I've mentioned in previous videos. Now for these, I use luster dust. I am so sorry, guys, I was in such a rush. I did this the morning of this party and right before I went to work, um, I'll have to make some in a separate video just to go more into detail of what I did, but this is my first time using Luster Dust. It's edible and looks super elegant, super beautiful. I also made some more just chocolate dipped strawberries. Again, rinse your strawberries, wipe them down really good, and make sure there's no water on there, wipe off any excess so you don't have a huge puddle. And I forgot to hit record, so I'm showing you guys what the strawberries look like. Um, yeah, I was in just such a rush. I kept forgetting to hit record. Um, basically, you just put melted chocolate in a piping bag, cut a small little hole in it, and hold the strawberry by the stem and just drizzle back and forth super quick. So, now on to this. Okay, guys, this is the most easy, a simple thing to bring to a party. Um, the cheese was $9 at Sam's Club. The salami and pepperoni was another nine bucks the crackers were another nine dollars super inexpensive super duper simple i also put together a, um, a fruit platter as well um you know just for anybody who didn't want so much sweet like the chocolate dipped strawberries but really everybody loved everything now i'm moving back to the strawberries because the chocolate needed to set so that's why I waited, moved on to do something else. And then I added in just some fresh strawberries on this side just to give it some color. And I love the way everything came out. So the next thing I did is I set everything up here and I just put one meringue there. So I set up this table the way I wanted it. I took, just so I could make sure everything fit. And I took a picture and sent it to my daughter Shania. That way she would know how to set this up since I wasn't sure how much time I was gonna have. this game um, my daughter drew the hand and they painted it we got just tiny little confetti rings it's kind of like pin the tail on the donkey we spinned everybody around gave them a little ring so that way whoever got the closest to pinning a ring on it um while blindfolded got a prize everybody loved it it was super super fun but we had two winners on that game so i would highly recommend that one as well So for our appetizers, um, my mom made quite a few amazingly delicious finger foods. I totally forgot to take a video of that before we started eating. We had pizza dip, cucumber sandwiches, um, so many goodies, and she outdid herself as always. But I want to thank you all for watching today's video. This truly, as always, was a pleasure to make and to share, and I hope that it gives you all the inspiration that anything you imagine to make, you can do it. We will see you again, friends. You have a lovely day. Bye-bye.